Hi everyone, this is Lisa with Lisa's Coloring Corner. If you're new here, hello and welcome to the channel. And if you're back, welcome back. This is part two of the haul from FG Normal. Part one, I showed three diamond paintings and a set of straighteners. In part two, I have three more diamond paintings and these are larger diamond paintings. So let's go ahead and look at this one first. This is a 40 by 60 diamond painting. So quite a bit bigger than the normal 30 by 30s or 30 by 40s I've been showing. But they had so many pretty ones to pick from. As usual, I will leave a link to FG Normal's website, as well as um, each of these three diamond paintings I'm going to be showing you. It's so pretty. Now they had a number of diamond paintings very similar to this, and it was so hard to pick which one. Again, standard toolkit. Let me zoom out a little bit because, oh, I, I am out as far as I can go. Because these three diamond paintings are larger, but is that not gorgeous? Oh, I thought it was so pretty. Now there is some color blocking to it, but a lot of confetti. In this particular diamond painting, you need the confetti. Look at all the detail in here with the flowers and stuff. Um, so that is going to make this so much prettier reflection of the moon up there. Oh, I just thought this was beautiful. Just gorgeous. All that water, all these flowers. There are only 20 colors in this big diamond painting, and for a 40 by 60, that's that's pretty good. That's not a lot. <laughs> As usual, we have the number, the symbol, and the DMC code. This is a full round. Look at those colors. You can see why it appealed to me. <laughs> All them purples. Oh, and this is pre-kitted up in the baggies. It's in a long packaging. So hopefully I'll fit it back in <laughs> the outer sleeve. Now this is that more, I don't know what you would call it, the more stretchy plastic. These are really hard to get back in. So yeah, I'll be struggling with those off camera. <laughs> All right, let's look at these beautiful colors. As usual, these babies are numbered, which will correspond to the number on the canvas. Zoom you in. All right, so we do have some black, of course. Some blue-gray. Look at that pretty pink. Big, big, that gorgeous purple. Oh, I love that color. That's number one, 208. Of course, we have to have some greens in here. Oh, love that pale pink. That must be in the moon. A few more greens. Oh, there's that pretty pale blue. More greens. It's kind of a real dark warm gray. Blue. A lot of this darker blue. Off white. Holy cow. Huge pack of this blue. That is jam packed. Wow. Dark purple. That's pretty. Another green. Big pack of this gray. And oh, another one that is just jam packed. This is gorgeous lilac color. Yeah, so look at all them beautiful purples and greens. 
and blues. Beautiful combination. <laughs> Let's zoom back out. Let's watch Lisa struggle to get these back in here. Although, when they're separate like this, they're not near as hard. <laughs> Another good thing about having them kitted up into little babies for you. Just kind of toss them in here and put them all along. Of course, not in number order anymore. Oh well. <laughs> not that big of a deal. Especially when there's only 20 colors. I really thought there'd be more than that in here. All right. I think that's the longest packaging I've ever seen of drills. <laughs> that, is, that is very long. All right. So, let me... Running out of desk space. No matter how big your desk is, it's never big enough. Am I right? All right. Here's, now this one doesn't look real big. It looks pretty teeny, but it's long. <laughs> this is going to be a really fun one to get back in the packaging because it's thick. I mean, look at how thick that baby is. So, yeah, I don't know. I have my doubts about getting this one back in. You know, when they give you a bigger one like this, they should give you a wider outer sleeve to put these back in. I don't know how they do it. I wish they uh, would give me a tip. <laughs> how do you do that? Because they got to do thousands of these every day. That's why they're so good at it. Oh yeah, I remember this one. Are you ready? It's so adorable. We love penguins. Aren't they cute? Oh, I thought it was so adorable. This one I might have to do. <laughs> I just love it. So we have our four adorable penguins. What is that? For? Um, again, it is a full round. This is a thir uh, 60 by 30. So it is narrow in height. That doesn't make sense. It's long this way, but you know what I mean. Um, so it still wouldn't take that long to do. Um, there's quite a bit of color blocking in this one. Little bit of confetti, but the vast majority of it is color blocking. So again, if you're one that likes your color blocking, this would be a good one to do <laughs> with our chubby penguins. <laughs> he looks really happy with his little fan. Got some ice cream. This one's licking that ice cream. He doesn't have his own ice cream cone. Poor penguin. Must be a hot summer day out, right? Uh, I just thought it was so, 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 so cute. All right. Ooh, now this one is packaged. Kind of the, if you want to call it the old-fashioned way, where it is in the little beauty packs of 200 drills each. Now, these are my least favorite way of packaging, but they're still not that bad to kit up. I typically take like three of them, snip off the ends all at once, and then pour them into my container. So they still don't take too long. But let's go ahead and look at all these colors. All right, so we have this dark blue. This will be a real fun one to get repackaged up. Dark yellow. So you can see each color is on its own strip. Very pale gray. We have some browns here. Green. Gray. Dark kind of a blue gray. Purple. More gray. Of course, we're going to have a lot of grays for a penguin, right? 
Oh, here come some pretty pinks. Some more gray. Oh, a whole bunch of this pale pink. So that must be going in the background. Oh, I love that color. Eight nineteen, and a bunch of this white. So again, must be a background color. We have green. Ooh, some more pretty pink. Pretty dark green. Real dark blue. I know these always look black, but 939 is a real dark blue. Ooh, look at that pale buttery yellow. Oh, love this color. That beautiful spring green. So that must be down in the grass, which again is block, is a color blocking. So it won't take too long to do that. Pale gray. Kind of a burnt orange. Oh, so cute. Cute, cute, cute. So, I think because this would take a while to get back in the packaging again, <laughs> I think I may just do this one off camera too. Right? Yes. Might as well not bore you to death to try to get this back in here because I'll have to package it as tight as I can or I am not going to get that thing back in there. I don't know if I will the way it is. Uh. All right, last but not least is another big one. This is a 70, oh, stick, 70 by 40. This is a big one. A little bit bigger than that one even. can already see there is a ton of color blocking. A ton. Oh yeah, this one. All right, this is a very tall diamond painting. So it's 70 this way and then 40 this way. So the opposite of the penguins. But this is all one color in the background and then some green up in here. But we have some gorgeous blues. Look at all this dark background. There are some, I think, 939s coming in. And then we have this beautiful tree down here. And the reflection and a big honking pack of drills. <laughs> so looks to me like it's almost a cave of sorts with this light coming in up here and that's why it's all dark around the outside shining down on this beautiful tree and then water down here with a reflection now like i said ton of block of color blocking confetti throughout the tree though which again we need because we need that detail there is some confetti down in here but the vast majority of this diamond painting is color blocking here is kind of the combo confetti color blocking that i've talked about before where it is here and there it's the same colors here and there so you're still going to have the same color in your in your uh, tray for quite a while more block color blocking i always want to say block drilling but color blocking um oh it is just just gorgeous am i zoomed out as far as i can go oh, there's a little further so yeah there's the bottom and then we go up to the top like i said i'm kind of looking at it as a cave or maybe even underwater of some sorts but then i don't know if you well no can't be underwater because we have this water here so i kind of look at it as a cave with light shining down but yeah i just i thought it was stunning 
Let's look at this big pack of drills. This, this is a heavy pack of drills. Oh, there are only 24 colors in this whole thing. Um, and again, number, symbol, GMC code. This is going to be another one that I'm going to be struggling getting back in the packaging. Oh, we have one that has opened. Looks to be a gray color. So I'm going to have to watch for that. That's the one thing with these uh, Ziploc baggy diamond paintings. Uh, you know, the ones that come pre-baked. Is once in a while you do get one that is not tightly closed. Wow. Now, these are nice because they do have the DMC code right on the baggie also. Let me zoom you in. So we do have the number that corresponds with the number on the diamond painting. But right here, if you can see it, is a 939. That's a dark, dark blue. So I know that that is the DMC code. 27.3, I'm assuming, would be the grams because they weigh their drills um, when they're pre-baked like this. They put so many grams in of each color. So yeah, we have a big whopping pack of 939. Two big packs of 939. So this is definitely the background color. <laughs> definitely. W has to be 939. Yes. Okay. And big pack of this, so I'm assuming that's going in the background also. We have our off-white. Beautiful aqua. But not much of that. We have a blue-gray. Another blue. You can imagine we're going to have tons of blues, right? We have our off-white. Light blue. And in the tree, we have these beautiful pink-purples, purple-pinks pink violets, whatever you want to say. And this will go with that too. So all four shades will go in that tree. We have some greens. We have a blue-gray again. Another big pack of blue. And a dark gray. Another gray. And here comes some more blues. And a gorgeous purple, 550. My absolute favorite color. <laughs> and 3837, my two favorites. <laughs> and then one more gray. Oh, isn't that gorgeous? So I don't know if I said it's another full round. So if you do, if you're one that works out of baggies and then you de-kit and you keep your um, drills, it's nice having the DMC code right on the baggie. Now I'm going to, yeah, see I'm spilling some more. I forgot that we had a bag of gray that was open. So this one. No, it didn't, didn't really seem open, but it is a bent one, so maybe we'll put that to the side just in case. Nope, not that one. Yinny, mini, money, mo. I think it had to have been that other one. Yeah, it has to be this one. That's the color that matches anyhow. Because it did, it almost seemed like it snapped tight shut when I picked it up. So I bet you it came kind of open because it was a bent egg. So let's pick these all up now trick to getting them up. Put your finger just a little bit. <laughs> no, not gross at all. <laughs> Do I have them all? Neighbors mowing outside, so I hope you can't hear that. Okay, I think I got them. No, I don't. There we go. So, 
Not that big of a deal. Now I know I have some in the baggie. I'll get them later. I just didn't want to lose the ones that were on the on the canvas. I'm gonna get all the air out of these because I gotta I gotta smush it back in. So I'll do that later too. But isn't that gorgeous? Love it. Love it. Love it. Zoom back out all the way because these are so big so we have our beautiful tree picture we have our adorable penguins up here and then up here i'm not gonna drag them all out but the really pretty i don't know what you'd call that the water with the flowers and stuff <laughs> <laughs> okay, so again, I'll leave links to everything down below in the description if some of these interest you. Thank you so much for watching this video, and thank you so much to FG Normal for providing me these diamond paintings to show you guys on my channel. If you enjoyed it, please hit that thumbs up button on your way out. It really does help the channel, as well as leaving any questions, comments, or concerns down in the comment section below. That also helps the channel. Of course, if you're not already subscribed and you enjoy all things diamond painting and coloring related, please consider subscribing. I hope everybody's having a wonderful day as always. Happy coloring and happy diamond painting. And I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys. Mm -hmm.